Hi. Now, in the last part of this question, it says, hence, using your answers to parts A and C, deduce the maximum value of 14 cos squared x minus 48 sine x cos x. Well, you can see I've started to write this out because 14 cos squared x minus 48 sine x cos x we found in the last part, part C, was identical to 7 cos 2x minus 24 sine 2x plus 7. And then in part A, we found that this part, 7 cos 2x minus 24 sine 2x, was identical to 25 cos 2x plus alpha. It was r cos 2x plus alpha. And then we've got the plus 7 on the end. So how does this help us to find the maximum value of this? Well, very easy, because this is the only term that keeps changing depending on what x is. Now, when you're looking at the cosine of any angle, then this graph goes between minus 1 and 1. You should be familiar with that, okay? So therefore, if we take the maximum value of the cosine of this angle, whatever it happens to be, the maximum value will be 1 times it by 25, and you've got 25, add the 7 and you get 32. So therefore the maximum value okay, equals 32. All right, When cos of 2x plus alpha turns out to be 1.